your fingerless gloves. What was that all about? <laughs> uh, well, I've got an issue. I always like to wash my hands. Um, oh, COVID hands must have clean. been terrible yeah, for you. Yeah, it was terrible, yeah. yeah. I'm one of those people that uh, washes their hands probably 50 times a day. Um, so... I didn't like my hands getting muddy, and then a company wanted to pay me to wear gloves, so that was the... Uh, that was oh. I cannot believe a rugby player telling me he didn't want to get his hands dirty. <laughs> I mean, how did you take up rugby? Um, well, I started at four years of age. And no, I meant knowing that you couldn't get your hands dirty, knowing I mean, that you're that's something basically that's, lying in mud. Yeah, that's something that's developed over time. When, when mud gets clammy on your hands, it's not very nice. The gloves came in... In, into good use there, but also they helped me with my passing game. So um, it became a habit, something that I was renowned for. And uh, yeah, uh, samurai were, were fantastic to me over my career. So. Just one question I want to ask you, it always fascinated me as people who were kickers. How much time did you spend practising kicking? Yeah, quite a lot. Um, you do probably an hour and a half a day minimum. Um, and you've got to, that's on top of all the other training you're doing. So you, you're out there and we've seen the horrific weather conditions we've had over the last few weeks. It's a real individual skill that you spend hours on your own uh, training, kicking balls, fetching the balls. You know, I used to take my dog to training to try and distract me when I was kicking. Did he bring because, the ball back to you? Uh, well, he didn't have a, quite a big enough mouth. But, um, yeah, listen, you spend hours honing your skills. And, you know, it is the one thing in a team sport that's so individual. You know, when Marcus Smith or Dan Bigger today go for a penalty at goal, 82,000 people will have their eyes focused on them. And it's, it doesn't matter what your teammates are doing at that point. It's you, the post, and the ball, and that's it. And such an individual skill element that has a massive impact on the game. Um, that, yeah, if you're not doing your, your practice and your training in the week, you come a cropper at the weekend and then everyone looks at you and says it's your fault. So you have to practice pretty high. Oh. Andy, good. Thank you very much.